Welcome back to bazookatraining.com here in the sparring drills section. Today, we're focusing on blocking and countering like an advanced, like you're a professional, okay? Too many times when we practice our defense drills, we only focus on one at a time, which is good to get the basics, the skill, but it's also important to understand that when it comes to realistic types of drills, that you're gonna mix and match the different types. So, I'm gonna give you a quick recap of what are the different types of movement and defense for boxing, and then we'll add on how to do it like a professional. Okay, so first things first is our footwork and our movement. Okay, that shouldn't really be built in. So if Matt just throws a one, two, three to me, right? I move my feet, safest way to go. The second way, which closes the distance a little bit now, right? Footwork would be the furthest distance, right? The safest. Then I'm inching my way a little closer. So then I use my parry, right? And with the parry is nice because you don't really have to kind of, you don't have to keep your hands on your head and it's a little safer and you can still move your feet. So I could use the parry long, right? Where I still back up or I can use the parry to pressure on the inside. Why I personally like this, if you're fighting someone big, is because if you keep your hands on your head and they still hit you, it might still rock you and hurt your head a little bit, okay? So we had movement, safest, working our way in with the parry. And now just one quick thing for the parry because it drives me nuts all the time. And it takes some time as a beginner to understand this, but when Matt's throwing the three punches and I'm pairing, don't think of it as pads. Think about it as the opposite. The big mistake beginners make is they hold like pads, okay? It's the opposite. So Matt's jab, I defend here. So when he puts the cross, I defend, and then I catch. So same side, it's not like hitting pads, okay? So then the third one, okay, is what we add is the shell guard, right? One of my personal favorites, if you watch my fight, so Matt throws one, two, three, right? I can stay stationary to block or I can kind of roll with the punches a little bit but the idea here is I keep my hands connected to my head now the last one is the head movement right so simple I can slip outside slip slip roll okay very classic the one most people know and as I always reference in all of my videos to me Head movement when it comes to kickboxing, mixed martial arts, should almost be your third. It shouldn't get carried away. It's a little bit of different from boxing when we see some head movement and slipping literally with the bent waist at almost 90 degrees. So we don't want to get into this bad type of slipping. If it gets desperate, okay, but with kicking knees, a little too dangerous. All right. So let's get into now understanding what makes it take the difference from beginner, intermediate, and advanced. So the first things before even countering is understanding that you gotta mix and match the types of defense, okay? So right away, I might use and you know, I could use the parry and the wedge together, right? So I might parry the jab, wedge the second one, and then wedge the third, right? Or I could use a parry on the jab, wedge the two, parry the three, right? So that's how I start mixing and matching. Now even could even add a third, type of defense to it, right? So I can go parry, wedge, roll my head, and then I'm in a different position to an attack, right? Different roll, different types of counters based on what I'm doing. So the idea of blocking like a professional and then countering like a professional or an advanced student in the bazooka curriculum is understanding that you gotta mix and match all of the different types together. It's never really realistic. And the other thing that changes and being under, to understand all the types of blocking is depending on the gloves. I look at bazooka curriculum as more of a universal system, right? So whether I have, I'm fighting someone with big gloves, I'm gonna use maybe more pairing, right? So I might use here or I'm comfortable blocking. He's got big gloves. So I'm gonna use my shell, I'm more confident here, right? But now if Matt's an MMA glove, I might be a little bit more here, more cautious, moving my, slipping, pulling a little bit, right? I might move my head, play a little bit more, because I don't wanna get hit with the small glove, because a small glove using high guard isn't really effective, so. Having an understanding to mix and match all of them just lets you be more comfortable depending on the rule sets you're playing. All right, so let's go into a little bit of a sequence. Now, we're gonna talk about countering first, okay? So the countering, okay, the basic counters you're gonna get are the simple ones, right? So the way I build it up is if Matt jabs, I could parry and shoot back, right? If he throws the cross, right, I could parry that cross, come back with my cross, so throws the jab again, I can parry, shoot, comes back with the cross, parry, shoot my hand, again with the jab, parry, shoot, he comes here, boom, parry, shoot down the middle, now the hook comes, parry, attack with my lead side, okay? So you can see the parry's good, nice and long, being able to attack. Now, 
we can go, usually what I do is I start single on each one, and then we just practice the different counters. So you notice here now, when I go to the shell, I'm a little closer. So now when the jab comes, right, I might kind of block into the roll and use my body shovel, right? Because before, with the parry, I have to be here. It's more risky for me to come in. So now I have to understand when I use my high guard, I have to step in. I'm staying a little closer, right? Coming in, Matt throws the cross, right? Before I was here where I control my right straight, now I might be in here to come in and attack the body, right? So you notice, depending on my type of defense, I'm bringing different types of counters, all right? Now the last one we talk about is the head movement. Now the head movement is even better for the advanced principles because you can move your head and roll into different angles. So if Matt throws a hook, for example, I can roll under, look, now I created an angle for my counter. He throws the rear hook, I come here, I create an angle, boom. Okay, so that's how you get more advanced, using that head work. Head movement and then the footwork to match. Now, so let's get back to the principle of today's video, is blocking and countering like a professional. So the idea is you can pick just even basic combinations and then mix the type of blocking, okay? So that's how we start. Now, Matt's gonna start throwing. I'm just gonna show you different, different forms, one, two, threes, right? I'm mixing up all the, the different types of defense, right? You even see me, one, two, pull counters, right? One, two, rolling under, okay? Boom, boom, wedge. Right, wedge, 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 boom, right? So just constantly mixing things up, right? I'm playing with my different angles. Now, once you're playing and you're comfortable, right, you even see me here. I might even go with a Philly shell, still being able to block, okay, be different ways, okay? Now, you'll notice here what I'm starting to do is I'm starting to touch the body and then roll off of different things, right? So you can see, one, boom, boom, touching in. Boom, rolling in. So right away, I'm building the advancedness, right? The beginner was just touching, blocking the punches. As I move to intermediate, I'm not countering with power yet, but what I'm developing is always touching. So even when I'm here, I'm touching, because the habit, a lot of you know, inexperienced fighters, when the punches come, they do this. So then it's really hard to put yourself in a position to counter, right? Same thing with the head movement. If Matt throws a cross and I move my head like this, if I can't touch, right? So this is why it's important to be able to get comfortable, mix everything in now, boom, to be able to kind of split and touch. See, I'm not trying hard, but I'm just staying busy, you know? All right, so that's how an intermediate is gonna start doing it. They can wait to the last punch and counter. As they get more advanced, we could start mixing shots in. Now, the last part of this video to make it even to the highest level, okay, before even defending, I have to throw some punches, all right? So the idea now is to make this to end drill is I'm gonna be probing punches, what we call occupying space, so I'm touching here. Okay, I'm touching, I'm fainting, and then Matt's gonna fire out. Boom, and I'm countering, right? Keep touching, and keep playing, boom, I counter, right? Using different forms of defense, and then touching, okay? Now, keep going. So I might create, and I might create my angles. Boom, yes. Boom, 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 creating my attack, okay? Coming in, fainting. Okay, throwing the punches and then acting different ways. See how I'm playing different angles too to come inside and create my angles and attack, okay? So, yes, blocking and countering can be done in different levels. So, bring it up, practice. Start learning to block first. From blocking, simple counters, the basic counters, right? The singles. Once you get good, start being more interactive. Move around, mix and match the different forms, different types of counters, different ranges, right? Your coach, even in this, can say, start long range, mid range, long range. So you can play with different ranges, different types of defense, different types of counters, and then last, you add in the punches before, the occupying, the fainting, mixed with the blocking counter. Next thing you know, you're blocking and countering like a professional. All right, hope you enjoyed today's episode. We'll see you next time here at bazookatraining.com.